welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I will be talking about a recent article that talks about reactive arthritis following COVID-19, its management strategies. Now, we all are aware that immune-mediated conditions associated with COVID-19 have been reported, including vasculitis, antiphospholipid antibody syndrome, myositis, and even lupus. Emerging studies have reported the potential occurrence of reactive arthritis in patients who have been previously infected with COVID-19. So, a systematic review in the Journal of Orthopedic Surgery and Research, it summarized the current evidence on the occurrence of reactive arthritis in patients who were previously infected by COVID. The study was conducted according to the 2020 PRISMA guidelines and the data on COVID-19 severity and management were retrieved such as the type of treatment, the hospitalization regimes, inpatient or outpatient, admission to the intensive care unit, need of mechanical ventilation and even pharmacological management. The following data on reactive arthritis were all collected. That included time elapsed between COVID-19 infection to the onset of reactive arthritis symptoms, pharmacological management, the type of arthritis that is either mono or bilateral, mono or polyarticular, extra articular manifestations, presence of tenosynovitis or enthesitis, synovial examination at microscopic polarized light imaging, clinical examination and lab findings. So data from 54 patients were retrieved out of which 54% were women. The mean time span between COVID-19 infection and the occurrence of reactive arthritis symptoms was around 22 days. Symptoms resolved within few days in all the studies that were considered. At last, follow-up, all patients were minimally symptomatic or asymptomatic and no additional therapy or attentions were required by any patient. So to give us more insights about this research, we interacted with Professor Dr. Raju Vaishya, who is a renowned orthopedics and joint replacement surgeon, having an experience of more than 35 years. He is currently a senior consultant at Intraprastha Apollo Hospital, New Delhi. His interest lies in knee and hip surgery, that is total joint replacement and arthroscopic surgery, regenerative therapy in orthopedics, arthroscopic shoulder surgery, arthritis and osteoporosis, and research and publications. This is what he had to say. So, uh, sir, again, in this research also, what was the aim that was behind carrying out this research of yours? Uh, the aim was, you know, that a lot of uh, people uh, uh, after COVID, having COVID-19, um, got joint pains, which uh, mm -hmm. persisted for some time. And there have been concerns raised that sometimes it converts in, into an autoimmune disease like rheumatoid arthritis, which has long-term um, repercussions. So we um, set, set out to investigate what has been published in the literature and we uh, in a systematic review and we found 27 such articles but all of them were case reports including 54 patients there were no uh, large studies uh, on this so we analyzed those studies and found that uh, it does happen in some patients mm -hmm. but usually it is self-limiting and tends to die out after uh, three to four weeks Mm, but uh, of course, there is always a fear that uh, it may trigger the immunity and cause or autoimmune type uh, of reaction in the body mm -hmm. uh, where RA factor antibodies may be present or may not be present and it may behave like, you know, body arthritis. So we have to keep a close watch on the patients having uh, joint pains with the past history of COVID-19 and uh, uh, should uh, keep a close eye and treat them um, very effectively. Sure, uh, sure sir. So what were the key results of the study that that you had performed and keeping the current cases, the rise in the number of cases the, we, of COVID? The, the, our conclusion was that we did not find a strong evidence to suggest mm -hmm. that COVID-19 uh, causes a permanent uh, type of arthritis which okay. only causes reactive arthritis which lasts for a uh, few weeks okay. uh, and none of the patients which have been uh, reported in the literature had long-term consequences of arthritis. Okay. Okay, so uh, still it needs to be kept in view even for medical practitioners if I have to say correct, they have correct. to look keep a lookout because, for this. Because, 
क्या बिकॉज नाउ वी आर सींग लॉन्ग कोविड इन डिफरेंट फॉर्म एंड आर मे बी वन ऑफ दिन very true very true that's all for today stay tuned to medical dialogues for latest updates never miss a medical update from medical dialogues like subscribe and press the bell icon